So this is the new Ford GT, one of the greatest American supercars ever made. It producing 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, 647 brake horsepower, 550 pounds feet of torque, which means it can go from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and it has a top speed of 216 miles an hour and it has a 7-speed uh, dual clutch automatic and uh, and also a Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires and this car cost $400,000 with taxes and I do really admire this car the way it looks and it also uh, <coughs> and it has a curb weight of uh, 1,521 kilos I think that doesn't look like 1,521 kilos for me this car looks like a 1,250 kilo car because it is also light because Ford really wants to make the GT lighter than the old one because uh, as you know the V6 is lighter than the old V8 I do really uh, admire the way this car looks especially the the new headlights and also the dihedral doors which it doesn't look dihedral because this is only just a diecast model 136 scale made by Kinsmart made in China and all I want to say is this car has an amazing heritage back in the 1966 so, yeah and uh, the way it looks is so amazing so the the heritage of this car was uh, what's well, one of the most historic uh, motorsports ever and uh, this car is, was, uh, is also a tribute to the GT40 which it claims victories from 1966 to 1969 50 years later it claims its victory again at the 2016 24 hours of Le Mans the racing version the Le Mans version of this car it won the GTE Pro category which was driven by Harry Tinknell, Olivier Pla, and uh, Sebastian Bourdais and uh, they were in the team uh, for Cheap Ganassi US and UK am I right then? so yeah what else can I uh, say about this car? I do really, do really love the way this car looks, especially in the back. Not only the big exhaust tips that doesn't uh, remind me of an Angry Bird. That was in the memes. And uh, this car extends the production from 2020 to 2022 due to very high demand because uh, the customers really admire this car also as well as me and uh, Ford tries to build more Ford GTs by 1,350 cars from 2020 to 2022 so uh, all I want to say is uh, I do really love the color of this car with the blue paint and white stripes as you can see uh, over here uh, the sparkle that shines those flakes look at that that looks gorgeous on a car like this so uh, this car really grips on a racetrack because of the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires I think Michelin uh, 
is uh, grippier than Pirelli maybe I think it is so uh, this car uh, was unveiled at the 2015 uh, North American I International Auto Show uh, while the while it was announcing the Forza Motorsports 6 three years ago so I do really uh, want to test drive this one in the future so yeah if I ordered one of these thing I will uh, I will spec mine in that color and in that white stripe if I will have one of that so uh, this car is isn't as delicate as a Ferrari, Jeremy Clarkson told that, and uh, the body is too big, but it's big, but that looks just fine for me. But it looks better than the old one. But I do really adore the looks and that, and I really admire th this car the way it looks. So this car also has also a. Apple CarPlay feature, which uh, I watched the video of Drag Times. He uh, uh, uses that with his iPhone. He uh, went to the to Miami, and all I want to say is I I will be excited to see uh, uh, Shmi 150 Tim's uh, Ford GT will be delivered next month. Maybe in Christmas Day, I will be happy for him, and uh, all. I, and I wish uh, Jeremy Clarkson will order one of uh, that car. So, uh, last time I remember is uh, Paul Wallace also drove this car and went to a McDonald's drive-through, and uh, Ken Block drove this car going to uh, to the Le Mans last year and uh, I'm hoping for this car to win Le Mans next year to beat Ferrari, Porsche, Aston Martin, Corvette and the new BMW M8 GTE so I do really want this car to win Le Mans. So, uh, yeah. This car is one of the greatest. Uh, it has the greatest looks for me, in my opinion. But it doesn't uh, outshadows, it doesn't really outsmart the 720S or the 675 LT, for my opinion. But uh, I think it really. Uh, outsmart the looks of Ferrari so uh, yeah that's it for now my uh, introduction to my uh, Ford GT as a diecast model scale car and uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time for more videos